A milestone for Jamie Lee Lewis, becoming one of the first people with a cochlear implant to have a brain scan. Her father is rugby league legend Wally Lewis. And 23 years ago to the day... My husband was in the middle of his um, state of origin camp. He come and met us at the hospital and the doctor seemed to be gone for a long time and then he come and got us about an hour and a half later and took us into a room to tell us that Jamie Lee was deaf. Profoundly deaf at four, she got a cochlear implant for one ear and is now planning to get another. Amazing feeling because every day I still look, still do today, I learn everything like new sounds, something new. Cochlear implants were developed three decades ago, but scientists haven't been able to get a clear view of how they work in the brain until now. Traditional uh, brain scanning techniques don't work with cochlear implants for two reasons. The cochlear implant is made of materials that interfere with the scans. And secondly, the cochlear implants um, generate their own signals that um, overlap with and interfere with the measurement of brain signals. This machine measures superconducting quantum interference devices, or SQUID, and the brain signals they measure are so tiny, scientists liken them to measuring the footsteps of ants on a football field. Researchers hope it will lead to even further advances. I think it might give us more insights, but I expect it more to be to understand why things are working, just why they're working as well as they do. And give new hope to people with hearing loss. I see her eyes light up when she goes to concerts and, you know, wonderful. Listening to music on the TV or the radio, you know, it's just wonderful. Brianna Roberts, SBS World News.